Hello Primer 3, this is Chapter 6, Lesson 116. You'll find it in your booklet from page 267 to 270. In this lesson, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to multiply a number by tens using tens facts. You know that tens is 10, 20, 30 and so on. Measure lenses and draw different lenses. Arrange lenses. This is what we took in the first term, but this is just a revision on it. Represent data on the line plot. Approximate to nearest centimeter or nearest half centimeter. Answer question about the line plot. The lesson keywords we have here is line plot, measurement, multiplication fact of tens. Before we start our lesson, please bring your booklet, pencil, ruler, and your notebook or your copybook. Let's practice on multiply by tens. Multiply by tens means multiply by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So how I do it, if I have here 30 multiply 4, this means I'm going to multiply the number by 4 here by only 3. 4 by 3 equals 12. And I will drop down the 0. So the answer will be 120. Here I have 2 multiply 50. So I'll multiply only 2 by 5. 2 by 5 equals 10. So I will put here 10 and drop down the 0 next to 5 and 50 it's going to be 100 2 multiply 40 so i'll multiply 2 by 4 2 by 4 equals 8 and drop down 0 so it's going to be 80 50 multiply 10 here i can say two things i can say 5 multiply 10 5 multiply 10 equals 50 and drop down 0 so it's going to be 500 or I can say that I have 5 multiply 1 equals 5 and drop down the 0 next to 50 and the 0 next to 10 is going to be 500 total so it's the same answer 20 multiply 6 so I'll multiply 2 by 6 equals 1 uh, equals 12 and drop down 0 so the answer will be 120 40 multiply 4, so I'll multiply 4 by 4 equals 16, and drop down 0, so it's going to be 160. 2 multiply 7 equals 14, and drop down 0, so it's going to be 140. 8 by 3, 24, and 0 drop down. 7 multiply 5, 35, and 0 drop down. 10 multiply 30, I can say that multiply 3 by 1 equals 3 and drop down this 0 and this 0, so it's going to be 300. 20 multiply 0, of course anything multiply 0 equals 0 because 0 is so strong. 7 multiply 40, so 7 multiply 4 equals 28 and drop down 0, so it's going to be 280. 3 multiply 9 equals 27 and drop down 0, so it's going to be 270. 20 multiply 10 equals 2 and drop down the two zeros because 2 multiply 1 equals 2 and drop down the two zeros. 7 multiply 7 equals 49 and drop down to 0, so 490. 5 multiply 6 equals 30 and drop down to 0, so it's going to be 300. Because here I have 30 and 0 from 6, from 60 drop down here. 30 multiply 6 or multiply 6 by 3 equals 18 and drop down 0. 70 multiply 10, so I'll multiply 7 by 1 and drop down to 0, so it's going to be 700. 
and here the same I'll multiply 4 by 1 4 and drop down the to 0 400 3 mul 6 multiply 30 so 6 multiply 30 we just did it here is going to be 180 okay stop the video and try to solve this one and after solve it open the video again and watch it See if you did was right or wrong so stop the video for five minutes answer this and open the video again to see your answer so if you did was correct that means that you are so super awesome measure each of the following so I will measure the lengths of this line using the ruler. So please use the ruler, your ruler, to measure it. So I will put the ruler like this. We started from zero. We put the the line at zero, and we look at the end. It's two, twelve and a half. So I will write here twelve and a half centimeters. This I will put the line starting from zero and we look at the end of the line it's seven centimeters. So right here seven. I'll put my ruler like this starting from zero. Don't start it from one. We start it from zero and look at the end of it. It's at thirteen and a half. So I will write here thirteen and a half. Here we have starting from zero. And at the end of it, it's 9, so I will put here 9 centimeters. Let's put our ruler like this, starting from 0. And look at the end of the line, it's at 4, so I write 4 centimeters. We start from 0, not from 1, from 0. And we look at the end of the line, it's at 13, so it's 13 centimeters. I started from zero and look at the end of the line. It's at seven and a half between seven and eight. It's seven and a half. So I write here seven and a half. And here it started from zero and it at seven. So I write here seven centimeters. Here on this, we will arrange the measurements that we measured in the previous page from the lines. So I will arrange it, start from the smaller, so it's four, seven, seven and a half, sorry, seven again, seven and a half, nine, twelve and a half, thirteen, and thirteen and a half. Now I arrange them at my line plot, I will mark each length. As we took in the first term, mark one mark mean a line. So I have one four, so I will make mark here at four. And I have two sevens, so I will make here two line two marks on seven. I have here one seven and a half, it's between seven and eight, so I'll make one mark here. And I have one nine, so I'll make one mark here at nine. And I have 12 and a half, so I'll make one mark here at 12 and a half. It would be between 12 and 13. And I have one 13 here. And I have one 13 and a half between 13 and 14. Okay, now I have a label and the key. As we all know from the first term, the key is what X represents. X represents one line. So X here represents one line. The label is what we do or what we measure using line plot. This line plot is about the measurement. So here the length in centimeter is what the label. The, this line plot is in centimeter is the lenses. Lenses of what? What X represents is one line. The lenses of the line. So let's answer the, this example, uh, sorry, this question about the line plot. How many strings are taller than 10 cm? So I will look 
starting from what after 10 cm how many we have here we have 3 3 is taller than 10 cm so I have here 3 strings how many strings are shorter than 11 and a half so I will look at after 11 and a half after 11 and a half sorry before 11 and a half so before 11 and a half we have here one two three four five so i have five lengths sorry five strings that it's shorter what is the most frequent measurement the most frequent measurement is it mean what is the measurement that have a lot of x's we have seven here that the only one who have two x's so it's the most measurement seven centimeter the least measurement mean what have less x's so four and it looks like four and seven and a half and nine and twelve and a half and thirteen and thirteen and a half all have the same so all of them is the least frequent Here I want to present them some measurements on the line plot. I have some pencils here, red pencil, blue pencil, yellow pencil, purple pencil. And these pencils have some measurement. It just means that I have like three red pencils, each one with a measurement. Uh, three blue pencils, each one with a measurement. And three yellow and three purple. So I want to represent this on the line plot. So first, I must put the numbers on the line plot. I will start from the smaller number I have here. The smallest one here is 8. So I will start my line plot from 8. I will make the marks and start from 8 to 12. Cut it with equal parts. Use the ruler to do it. Now I will count how many 8 I have here. I have only one. So I'll make one X here. So this one X represent the pencil, just one pencil. And let's see. The next is eight and a half. I have only one, so I make one X here. And nine, how many nines I have? I have one. There's nothing else, so I put I put one X here. After this nine and a half, let's look. I have only one nine and a half, so I put one X here. How many tens? I have one and two. Only two, so I make two X's here. Nine and a half, sorry, ten and a half, one and two and nothing else, so I make two X's. How many elevens? One. 2, 2 elevens only, 11 and a half, 1, and 2. So I make two x's. So the label here is measure length of one pencil. This label of the line plot is measure length of one pencil. This is the measuring of the pencil eight from 8 to 12. And the key is what x represent. x represent one pencil pencil x represent one pencil so let's answer these questions how many pencils all taller than 10 so i will look at what after 10 and count how many x's i have here because x represent one pencil so one two three four five six so there's six pencils taller than 10 Okay, how many pencils shorter than 11 and a half? So I will look before 11 and a half, all the things before 11 and a half. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 10 pencils here. So what is the most frequent measurement? Mean how many have many X's? what is the most things have x's i can see that 10 centimeter and 
10 and a half and 11 and 11 and a half. All these have most frequent. What is the least frequent mean what have less x's? I can see that 8 and 8 and a half, 9 and 9 and a half that have less x's. Thank you. That's all for this lesson. Bye.